What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you guys are liking the content here, please like, subscribe, hit that bell to get notifications when a new video drops. So we gotta talk about gas ballasts here for vacuum pumps. There's a lot of techs out there that don't understand them. They don't know what they are on their vacuum pump. They don't know where they physically are or how they work or what they're there for. So we're gonna talk about that real quick on this video. So let's talk about where they're physically positioned on the pumps. I got two pumps I'll show you. I got a, a Navac 12 CFM and a Navac 4 CFM battery powered pump. I'll show you where they are on both of these pumps. Now on this particular 12 CFM pump from Navac, the gas ballast is on the top here. So this is in the closed position. This is in the open position. So on this battery powered 4CFM, the gas ballast is located right here on this pump. And if we turn it on, that is open. And if we turn it off, that is closed. So now we know where the gas ballast lives on a system. What's its purpose? Well, when we hook a vacuum pump up to an air conditioning system or refrigeration system, we are evacuating that system. We're removing the air, we're removing the moisture so we can charge it up. Okay, so as we're removing air and moisture, we have water vapor, and we're in jeopardy of that water vapor condensing inside the pump. So opening that gas ballast, what that's gonna do is allow atmospheric air to sweep in and help move any condensation out. Because that condensation can land in the, in the vacuum pump oil, and we don't want it there initially. We want it there for the last part of the pull down, and I'll explain that further. Now here's a paragraph from an article from vacuumscienceworld.com and I'll leave the link for you guys in the video so you can go check it out yourself. But it says, in simple terms, a gas ballast valve incorporated into a system will allow a flow of air into the final part of the compression cycle and allow the vapor to be expelled without condensation or affecting the pump's overall performance. So basically, as I was stating before, we open the gas ballast, some air moves in, and it removes that condensation so it doesn't affect the pump's overall performance. When the pump is running initially, we want to open that gas ballast up. All right, I've circled some information for you guys from the Navac pump user guide. So what you're looking at here is some information that is telling you to close your gas ballast once we hit 2000 microns. We're gonna determine this with our vacuum gauge, micron gauge that is connected up to the system. Otherwise, we have no way to determine this. Now, the reason for doing this, and I don't know if you guys have noticed, when you first start your pump, there's a large pressure differential between the system and the pump, and you're moving a lot of air and moisture out very, very quickly. That's why your micron level drops off real quick. But once you get to 2000 microns and below, it starts to move a lot slower. Now, if we close that gas ballast, what's gonna happen is we are not sweeping air through anymore. That oil in the vacuum pump is gonna start to grab a lot of those contaminants on its own to make that last part of the vacuum or that last part of the evacuation more efficient because it's grabbing contaminants and it's holding them there. So that's the reason why we do this. So I hope this video has helped you guys determine what a gas ballast is for, why we use it and how it can be utilized to help our pull downs go a lot better in that last 1500 to 2000 microns. Anyway guys, if you like the channel, if you like the content, like, subscribe, hit the bell. I'm out. Happy HVACing.